two dope Miss Hope Top three. Yes. Gay characters in Hello. film. Hello. Gay characters in film. That's it. Not TV. No. There's too many gay characters on TV. I feel I don't like mean every like, show has a gay character. Yeah, I don't mean like yeah. too many. Like there shouldn't be this many gay characters on TV. I mean too many to choose from. 100%. You could have as many gay characters as you want. I love gay characters, okay? Of course. But there's so many in TV. It's fucking crazy. I think every show has one. It's crazy. I think it's kind of like a criteria now. Name me a show right now that doesn't have a gay character. Go. It's tough. Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Mac. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Oh my god, you're fucking right, dude. <laughs> See, there and and whatever is going on with them in the show, they, they just they've been hinting at it for yeah. years. Who's but your you favorite it. gay? Oh, The Office and Oscar Jesus. Who's your favorite gay character from TV? If you just off the top of your head, man, Mac. Wow, but is he? He is now. He's gay now. He's yeah. out. Rich gay Mac. Rich gay Mac. I would say Cam from Modern Family. I don't watch, but I know people love. He's played Cam. by a straight dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. But his husband in the show, Mitchell, was played by a real gay dude. You could just totally tell the difference. But mm. Cam plays such a good gay. He's like that fabulous fat gay, like so. Oh, he's the fat one, right? Oh, right, right, yeah, right. yeah. No, just yeah, no, he's so yeah. flamboyant. But, right. he's, but I, he's so funny. He's fucking. Do you like him? Because be- Oscar's very dry. Oscar's dry but he's still and kind of. Mm. One of the funniest. I don't want to get sidetracked. Nah, one good. of the funniest scenes in the office with Oscar is when they're at the wedding. Okay. Cam and, yeah. and, and Jim's yep. wedding, and they're doing the dance down the aisle, and they just cut to Oscar, and he's doing the like the and, and his <laughs> face like the is so serious. Yeah, yeah. It's, his face is so serious, and I don't know for some reason I've always because he's not the funniest character. No, he's you're not super like dry. dying at, no. at like he's not really making a lot of jokes, no. and he's more kind of commenting on what's on the hijinks of the office. Right. So you just like Michael busting his balls. Yes, all exactly, the time. exactly. And that kiss is always going to go down as one Fantastic. of the best TV kisses. Dude. So. You thought of this because yeah. you're gay, and yeah. what? Well, imagine, no, I thought about you, and I said, well, "Man, I was, my best friend would love I'll, if we did." I was going to say, imagine if for this episode I decided to come out as half gay, bi, half gay Mac. Is what half I'm trying to say. Mac. Yeah, half gay Mac, okay. not bi, but yes. All right, that would be a good time to do it. Of course, right now is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, the, how like, do you dude, do? You know what I'm saying? Be like, just be, guys, listen. No, seriously, ho- like dopers, all Mikey. jokes aside. All jokes aside, hundred percent. I need to come out. I haven't told my parents, it. Oh. like my this is family, and if, my girlfriend who fitting. has a penis. Like, it's, I, a, it's that's it's what I said. I said with the scabbard, scabbard. Yeah, but no, I that would be that, that would, would be, be one time. of the biggest bamboozles of all time. That'd be one of the biggest. Oh my god, moments of my life, bro. We go viral, bro. Probably local podcaster comes out. On national video on local, cameras. On local <laughs> video. <laughs> it's like a public access thing. <laughs> like Channel 12 doesn't even want to oh put it out God. there. No, nah, but I wonder I'm if anyone's saying, done that. People I always think about come this. out like live, right? On podcasts, though, where they revealed it. Or two, has someone died on a podcast? We've talked about this before, man. Well, I don't know. Maybe. I don't maybe know. Not. Maybe not. Maybe someone's know. like, oh, and they kept yeah. it in. But would Could you? Could have. If I died right now, heart attack, would you keep it? Yeah, and like 100%. put the episode out. Yes, no question. Because you would you, want to. But hold on, I know what you do. You go, okay, this is a two dopas first in the beginning, and you'd be like, with the death. oh, I'd put in like you'd a like a little like, thing. You yeah. do a little thing, and then you'd be like, so you guys, pass. You know, he, he, obviously uh, he's dead. This won't come out till weeks later. So <laughs> it'd be like, guys, obviously you know, pass is dead. I saw you. Or well, maybe you don't know. <laughs> I saw this or maybe you guys just <laughs> have you, you didn't care. You are. didn't see yeah. anything on Facebook. You just don't give a shit. Remember Mike Pastor on fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, I was thinking about this because. I threw this movie on Mikey, and I go. Are you gonna? You're not gonna. Is it number one? 100%. Or no? Oh, then yeah, then, then just go. I'm giving so the what? whole spiel. No, okay. Oh, um, I don't sorry. want you to say one of mine. Oh, and guys, this is not in poor taste, by the way. We never ever do these in poor taste. Don't guys, think that you know. We, I love gay people. Same. All right. I love straight people. They're part of our world. And I would love bi people if they were real. Um, but. <laughs> I just love all people, so mm. we're not doing this in bad taste. Mm-mm. I love these characters. No, like, no, no, I no for sure. Love these characters. Yeah. So we I like how you said around. that. You're right. Yeah, I we like might how throw you it around. That. We might fucking joke and whatnot, but they're a part of our world, just like your neighbor is. It doesn't matter, dude. Well, yes, your yes, but yes, yes. It's and, and this is like in all seriousness. Who's your favorite gay character? Yes. There's there's a decent amount. There's I only wrote down four. Because for me, it's not even it's not even a question. Like, I, wrote, I already have my three. Yeah, I wrote down I wrote nine them. for discussion. Dude, you're like me, bro. I, I did, I see, it, I did a reverse. Dude. Did a reverse double gut. A, All right. Reverse double gut. So what's your first one, and why yeah. did you think of it? My number one, I saw this. Uh, I, I, I threw it on. I haven't seen this movie in a while. Okay. But it's one of my, you know, I respect it from the director. But okay. I threw it on, and dude, it's a small, small amount of screen time. But wow, I think steals the show in this entire movie. So... Without trying to fucking, you know, jazz it up too much, I'm yes. just going to say it. 
I got to go with Brandon St. Randy and Zach and Mary make a porno, wow. Justin Long. Wow. What Dude. a great Wow. Game. Didn't even think of him. <laughs> Didn't even think of him. Good. See, it opens up for more discussion. Oh my Guys, god, yeah. Justin Long comes in so there good. and dude, he steals that scene. He steals the scene. Dude, he almost he, steals the movie. 100%. Even though he's only in it for two I, dude, minutes. I, I thought I remember the first time I saw it, I go, is he gonna come back in? Because they're I shooting porn. I so I didn't know if he'd be like, hi, you hi, might know guys, me. I thought this was uh yeah. Double anal jerk jerks. Yeah, or you might yeah. be like, yeah. Uh, guys, I'm Brandon Say Randy. You might yeah. know me from such films as like in the movie, but wow. it's fine. But dude, he steals a show wow. and Zach and Mary, he's talking to uh Seth Rogan yep. while, you know, the You wanna play main... the scene? Let's play the scene. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. And, and Seth Rogan's just basically like my friends out there, you know, trying to hit on this guy uh. she fell in love with. And it's and it's fucking Superman who's Brandon Say Randy's like I don't Boyfriend. know if they're yeah I don't think they're married Could and be. dude he just comes in and steals that fucking scene, a fucking actor or wait fucking movies. It's like dude I don't want to come off as uh, yeah like, yeah but are you in gay porn yeah guilty guilty dude dude he's, he's so, so good in that and then when he comes back and has the rant of after they take the picture with Granny yes, panties yes right? and then Superman who I'll just keep calling Superman Brandon Roth is very there you go yep. is very. You get really He's drunk. Like, you get too yeah, married like for a, too, Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so, uh, am I concealed in, in, yeah. in, a, in, a, in a closet of gay? <laughs> like, he just comes out, I am in love with whatever his name is. And yeah. he just steals the whole show, dude. I he can't does. say enough. He does. He is so good, and he plays such a great gay that you believe it. And it's Justin Long. I agree. I don't know. I didn't think of it, and I wish no I problem. did. I knew I was forgetting one. But it's such a small part that I, I oh, understand no, why I forgot it. I just 100%. understand why I forgot it. And I knew if I said it, you'd be like, dude, I forgot it. Because we love that character, dude. Bro, amazing, He's one dude. of the best gays. If they made a movie, what's his name? Randy St. James? Brandon St. Randy. Brandon St. Randy? <laughs> name. I'm, my name's Brandon St. Randy, and I'm in love with... <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's such if a good If they one. made like a movie of his, I'm it in. would be fucking great, and he would be under my number one with no, See? no questions asked. That's ask. what Kevin Smith needs to do. Because that's his film. Zach oh, Lemire. it is his film. He directed Damn. it. See, I forget. You, K. Smith dude, films. It's so funny. That's his highest grossing film. And it's like not a film that you think is Kevin Smith. Like you no. think it, but no, you're no, like, no. oh, no, that's not Kevin yeah. Smith. That's not a film. Like uh, Gile. Gile. 100%. It's not. Guys, but dude, if they did a Sandra, don't tweet us. If they did a Brandon St. Randy fucking short, a 30-minute short in his life, oh, my God, you know how funny that would be? I'm in. Give me more gay Justin Long. Uh, uh, yeah. Does it get better than that? It doesn't. All right. That's my number one, man. So that's why I thought of cool, it. Cool, bro. What is your first one? Oh, God. I love the pick, first of all. I wish mm. I thought of it. Mm. But even if I thought of it, I don't know if I'd put it on. I so that's why I don't feel that bad. Oh, dude, but don't. he's literally probably the funniest on my list. Oh. Eh, I don't know. Oh. Um, what you got, dog? So, oh, fuck, man. Don't fuck a man, but fuck a man. Oh, um, fuck, man. All right. My number one mm. top three gay characters from film yeah. is... It's so hard to pick, man. Um, can I do a twofer or no? No yeah, twofers? For can sure, because I, I wrote down two twofers. All right. Well, my twofer is without a doubt. This is the first one. First one I thought of. Fucking, I love this movie. We've said it before. You said you like it. I think you said it's a great movie. I love um, it. Yeah, I you love it. I yeah, love I love the movie. Yeah. I've watched it yeah. probably three or four times, like front to back. Like literally yeah. front to back. I probably watched it three yeah. or four times. I'm there with you. And I think the first guy I'm going to say is probably my number one. Yeah. But just to do the two first, since you allowed it. Of course. Since you so courteously think, allowed I think it. you have to in this case, dude. I know. It's got to be Ennis Del Mar and Jack Twist from Brokeback Mountain. Well, yeah, you don't know. Uh, to leave open for more discussion oh, now, I'm going to leave it off. <laughs> and, dude, I wrote down, I'm a little bit more of a um, Ennis Del Mar fan. <laughs> But no, yeah. no, no, dude. I know I wrote him wow, down. Wow, you're a mean. But I don't know if I should just for the show's no, sake. No, yeah, for the show's sake, do it. Wow, fuck. All right, it's fine. People are seeing this. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to say. All right. So, Ennis Del Mar. I, can't. Uh, yeah. I wish I could quit you. So, <laughs> Ennis Del Mar. We've talked about the movie uh, quite a bit. We love Brooke but Beckton. I'd I'd have to say Ennis is probably more of an interesting character, yeah, right? Like yeah. he's oh, more yeah. of the complex, interesting character. Has the Jack family. Twist is probably. The better human being and the better gay person is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You agree? But, yeah, but why well, why the better, though? Because he's the one who's actually been trying to make the relationship work for fucking years. And he was right. the one who's saying, listen, I want to leave my wife. Let's go start yeah. a fucking life together. Yeah. And he doesn't care about coming out as gay and being gay. It's right. obviously a different time in the geography. Like, where they are for makes sure. a big difference. Yeah. But 
Ennis is the one that is in the closet that denies it, that yeah. will never leave his wife and family and his yeah. kids even after, after they get divorced. So that's why I say Jack Twist was more open to like to to leaving and saying, mm. listen, let's go fucking start a life together, yeah. right? Yeah, the and better Ennis game. wasn't. I Ennis wasn't. Saying. I don't yeah. mean better. I mean, I, yeah, like he's more of. I just think Ennis is more of an interesting and complex character. Yeah. Jack is definitely more of a compassionate character, I guess mm. you'd say. But so that's why I put Ennis on there because he's just so interesting to watch and yeah. the acting is like fucking amazing. Yeah, that's a very good point. So. Yeah, well, I feel like that's what the whole movie's about, right? 100%. The whole movie's about like it's all that they start this thing, but Jack Twist just wish wishes he knew how to quit him. Yeah. And he just can't quit he him. Can't you know? He can't quit him ever. Fucking, you know what I never thought about with that movie? What's up? That's one of the best movies that covers a long period of time mm. that I've ever seen. Yeah, that's that, a good point. and doesn't feel rushed and doesn't feel like oh my god, yeah. how the fuck did they cover twenty years? You know, spaced out. Well, Dude, it's covered fucking twenty years. Right? Like holy shit. From that first ride. That first ride, bro. Cattle. First ride in the rodeo, just sitting up there. With remember the what uh, fire and Joe pop. Rogan said? Hashtag Joe Rogan. About, about Remember the whole video that I said about when they with the gay and the guy in Thailand and shit? With the what Joe Rogan video? Oh, oh, with the guy who yeah, said he's 10% like, broke back, gay. He's like, yeah, a broke yeah. back mountain man. He's like, Heath Ledger, Heath Ledger wasn't gay. He's like, <laughs> he's like he was just a, a, a dumb, straight guy who, you know, just like got conned into it. And I'm like, bro, uh, Rogan. You gay. missed the point of the movie. Yeah, exactly, I'm just saying you dude. just missed the point it's of the movie. It's a love movie. story. 100%. It's like he he's gay, but yeah. he's in the closet, bro. That's you it. You know who busted my balls for saying, I'm like, dude, no, it's a great love story. It was fucking John Fetto. Yeah, I he's see like, that. But he's like, he'll refuse to watch it. He's one of those. You know what I'm trying to say? I get it. John, I get it, man, because I fine. know you, bro. We get no, it. Kidding. But I just remember he's like, are you fucking serious? I'm like, dude, it's a great love story. That Listen, movie's amazing. Oh, it's an amazing love story. Should've I didn't best watch it. I did not watch it when it came out. No, it took, I didn't see it in theater. It took, a took me years, a couple years yeah, to yeah. watch it. And I remember when I did watch it, I go, wow, this is a good movie. Were you hard for most of it? Only the second half. Only Ooh. the second half, man. That's it. <laughs> Remind me, though, Heath Ledger's the one that takes his spit and puts yeah, it on Heath himself. Ledger's the banger. He's the banger. He's the top. See, Jack He's Twist. See, Jack Twist has the better porn name out of both of them. It's not even a question. 100%. And it's Del Mar or Jack Twist My Dick Inside You. Oh wow, you've been th- you've been planning <laughs> that one that. for fucking no. years, dude. But you can't really twist a dick inside no. someone. No, anyway. but uh, anyway, no, dude, I just want to say and I it wrote is, it down, man. Yeah, it is literally my fate, my two favorite gays. So I, know. I did a twofer. I appreciate. It. Let me do a twofer. Well, bro. you know why? Because I have to do a twofer for my second, bro. Okay, I have to. Okay, we're talking gays in film. We're talking. I don't agree is... with this twofer, bro. If it's the one I'm thinking of, you know what I'm talking about. I think I know. I don't think you do. Maybe right. you do. Maybe you don't. It's on my list, man. I don't know. So then you do agree with it? No. But I don't think that it's equal to be a two first. I think you, I think you got to pick one because they're so different. Are you sure we're thinking about the oh, same may, thing? Maybe not. Maybe okay. not. Maybe. Are they I, so different or no? no? I mean, oh, then then it's no, not the one I'm thinking of. All right, no, go. No, no, no. Okay. I mean, now I'm very curious. To see okay, what you're I'll say it next. By curious, mine. as some would say. I love it. Uh, okay, so my next one, um, and I think that's why. I mean, look, I knew we were going to say broke back. I mean, of course, like, oh, dude, it's one. Of, it's but my you favorite. Did. That's what I'm trying to say. I knew one of us was. <laughs> oh, so okay. just All for right. conversation's sake, why not? My twofer that I'm going for next, man, great couple, and yeah. they just okay, gay, gay, and they make it work, and they're funny, and they just, they're a great couple. Oh, so maybe they say, okay. I don't know, man, maybe but not. they're so different, though. One's like, okay. Are we talking about? Okay, so right, go. I'm going to go with Phil D'Amato and Tommy Grayton from Big Daddy. Wow. That's a great one. Do you need to think of them? See, and that's why I knew we are on different pages because they're they're, very, they're the same. They're, they're very they similar. They 100%. Both, they both are 100%. gay. They're out. They they yep. don't sh- they don't hide it. But and they're, they're not funny. feminine at all. They're no. not like the flamboyant. They're just no. like, yeah, we like to suck dick. Yeah, like, we're that's gay. It. Like, we yeah. fuck each other and they exactly. kiss. But they're funny, dude. They are great. Wow. They're a great little yeah. sprinkle for that movie. And for they the drop gayness. the little comments and little one-liners and shit. And then when they kiss, it's so he's like, I still never get used to that. Yeah, it's great. So, so the way he's like, all right, love you. And they I just remember kiss. the first time. I, no, they like make out, they, though. Yeah, there's a couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they're like, when like, the they bar. say goodbye. Oh, when they say goodbye at the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they're yeah, like, yeah. and they kind of do a little. And, <laughs> and they come back for like a, yeah. That, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. what it is, It's man. very yeah. intense, dude. Very intense. He always includes a gay. Not always. He includes gays in a lot of his films, Yes, he does. A gay character. Well, that's awesome. We include gays, too. Guys, if you're a gay guest, come on. Well, no, half. That's what I'm trying to say. We got to talk about the trans be gay. All right, go. The husband in real life who was gay. Or oh. bye. We'll talk about that later. Okay. The murder. Anyway, uh, but dude, that's my two for man. Phil D'Amato, Tommy Gritton. Dude, uh, I didn't even fucking think of them. There we At go. first, your David, I'll go, wait, it's sleepers? Are they gay? It's sleepers? Because, because like, Tommy, DeMa- Tommy DeMarco. <laughs> oh, yeah. It yeah, sounded yeah. like it's it just, I was like, wait, what are you saying? Yeah. 
Wow, are any of them gay? No. Is Kevin Bacon gay? Or 100%. Just a if you rape... I don't want to get kicked Stop. off YouTube. So. We won't. Um, well, first of all, I can't. wish we could. That no. means we're being watched. No, no, but dude, they'll kick off anyone. They won't. Right. For being sleepers is pro, so, pro gay, whatever. All right, I'll just say mine then. Go the ahead, one that man. I was saying. <clears throat> excuse me, the one that I was saying. Yeah, the, yeah, the okay. one on my list, yeah. I want to hear it, dude. Bro. Duty for Rudy. Yeah. Yeah, I got to go with it. Because even when I was young watching this, I was hard. Obviously, like, young is my first boner experience, right? But, no, just, I love this movie. Okay. I've always loved this movie. I don't know how you feel, but I think we talked about it. Like, yeah, I like it. Like, that's probably legitimately <laughs> what you would say. You go, yeah, it's fine. I wonder I like if it's it. on my list, man. It might be. But it's a, you could do a twofer. Because, obviously, gays uh, are people, and people like to get together. So, a lot of the times, gays are couples, right? So, I get it. Yeah. Right? So, okay. a lot of these could be twofers is what okay. I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. If it works, but for sure. I had to pick one. Yeah. Because they're so different. But So, I had to say, which one do I like better? Oh, shit. Like, when I watch this movie, which one do I really like better? Mm -hmm. And I think this guy, they both did a fantastic fucking job, dude. Like, both nailed this role and i had to pick one and i think i'm gonna go with this guy uh, okay yep oh you know what it is i know what it is it's not All my right. list it's not okay nope. i have to go with albert goldman from the birdcage i knew it played by played amazingly by nathan lane mm -hmm. dude Group pick, dude. I group pick. Group pick. Group, <laughs> group pick. Groot, Groot, Groot likes it. Groot. Yeah. I am Groot. I am good. Wow. Yeah. I know dude, you've I always been it. a fan. And oh, I, dude, I saw it when I was young. That's yeah, what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah. I, it, it was 94, like 94 or something. 95, yeah, right? Mad something like early. that. Don't quote us on it. Um, like Mrs. Doubtfire? Birthdays yeah, right after. That, dude, that's what I'm saying, yeah, bro. So, yeah. like, I just watched an album young. I'm not realizing what the right. dynamics are that yeah. he's pretending to be the mom when he, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. with the for the governor and shit. Like, I didn't realize all these dynamics. But I just laugh. I just liked it. Like, oh, it's just funny. Yeah, okay. And then growing up and watching you, oh my God, it's actually a good, like it's, the plot is involved. You're watching it going, oh shit, this is a cool situation. Mm -hmm. Like the gov, the go I think he's a governor, right? I think I think he's a governor. Bro, I'm not going to, it's been 15 years since I've seen that oh, film. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, I saw shit, it when okay. I was young. Oh, But I never okay. revisited it. Oh, you got to revisit it. Not because it. of the game. I just Hank remember. Hank is amazing in it. Yeah, see, they're all good guys who dude, play good he's gays. Like the, yeah. he's like they're like. Uh, made kind of like assistant mm. guy who lives in them. He's he, dude. He's the fu he might make the list of top three gays. I swear <laughs> to God, he's so funny in it. So you'll take Robin Williams. Sorry, take Nathan mm -hmm. Lane's character over Robin Williams. Why is that? Because Nathan Lane's more funny uh, because he's like the lady of the relationship. Yeah. He's like more flamboyant. Yeah, he's like yeah, oh, yeah. everything is like dramatic. Yeah. He's like oh, don't even tell me how to do this. Yeah, you know, yeah. and then he's trying to act manly because they have to basically their son, Robin Williams' son. He mm -hmm. had a son with a with a woman. Okay, yeah. Is marrying the daughter of like the governor of of Florida or whatever, uh, or the mayor of Miami. It's something. Okay. And so they have to. He can't let his father in law know that his his dad is gay right. and lives with a lover in Miami. And they right. run like a gay bar, like cabaret or whatever the and fuck is it is. Is that what the birdcage? Is? That's it's what it's about. The, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, name yeah, of the club, yeah. and that's Coming what it's about. It's about yeah. that Gene Hackman plays governor coming to dinner. Yeah. And like Nathan Lane dresses up as like the mother trying to play the mother without telling Robin Williams. Oh my god! Because they got they 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 hired his real mother to come mm -hmm. and dude it's 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 hijinks it's like a meet the parents kind of vibe uh, okay but gay, gay. And before meet the parents but i love it bro okay you get me talking about gay movies i'll talk for for dude, we, this five episode hours about is gay literally movies. gonna be gay that's movies. it so is it Albert, worth a revisit dude 100 uh, percent. you're gonna if you like broke back bro you're gonna love this will i be aroused or this one's way more the guys are hotter in broke back you know no i would not say this one's way more <laughs> Uh, uplifting, if you know what I mean. Whoa. Okay. What you looking at, bro? Uh, I'm just making the the finger. It played. Are we on right? Rogan, bro? Is it what I'm played, trying to say. Though. It, it played, definitely right? plays. Okay. All right. Dude, so that's Albert a great pick, Coleman though, from the Birdcage, Mikey. What is your number two? Bro, there's a lot of gays in film, and I'm trying to figure out if I want to go another. Oh, this funny is your number three. Oh, it's my shit. third. I thought you said third. No. Oh, I'm Mikey. What is your third? Thank you. You had to throw that in. If you didn't, I was going to smack you. What is it, bro? I'm excited, man. Oh, Let me see man. what I got left here. Because, again, I wrote down nine just for some odds, obviously. Of course. Just, just, just to, to kinda, talk. Just to just, talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, like, yeah. oh, sure. what about this? What about for that? Sure. But I'm trying to think who's my favorite. I know. I know I went comedy mm -hmm. for the last one, and obviously for the first one, too. They're both comedic. Okay. So I'm going to throw this in, man. It's it's recent, but I'm going to put it on there just Ooh. for the sake of getting away from comedy. I'll okay. put the, I'll, okay. We'll talk comedy okay. after again. Oh, yeah, because you didn't do broke back. I see what you're saying. Right. So you I, I don't want to do three comedies. This is serious. Yeah. And just overall, as this guy's character, I, I did like the movie. And, okay. and it just, it obviously, it 
it, it deserved to win Best Picture, and it did. Oh, so um, and wow. I think he did a great job of playing that friend, the neighbor, the voice of reason. Sometimes, right? <laughs> I want to know he's thinking Oscar. About. Wait, well, now, oh, now I'm okay, fucked up. Okay, got it, got it. Sorry, neighbor. sorry. All right, so go. I'm gonna go with, and I always love the actor, and, and I always hate that I forget his name. But okay. I'm gonna go with the character of Giles. From the Shape of Water. Wow, would never have expected that, but holy shit! A wow. great recent gay. Yeah, but do you don't realize everything you said applied to Moonlight? <laughs> like I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh shit, okay, he's going nah, with the black dude from Moonlight. No, like, no, nah, I know, no, but I know, like, but one Oscar, yeah, he's no. a neighbor. I'm going wait, neighbor. Yeah, he's wait, what's, what's that, her neighbor? And that uh, didn't Moonlight. apply. No, 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 okay, no, no. Sorry. Um, but dude, Giles. Yeah, all right. He, do, he plays a huge part in that film. Now he plays a. Huge, Huge part. part. I always forget his name. Yeah. I always forget the you actor's name. I feel bad for him, bro. Richard Jenkins, bro. I Boom. believe so. Don't quote me on it. I just did. Uh, you always feel bad for him? Why? Oh, because he can't find the care- love. Yeah, because he's lonely, I know. bro. And did you get the sense that the guy in the diner also was gay, but just didn't, no. wasn't out yet? No, I got the sense that he did not know. Is what I'm trying to say. Because yeah. no one was really like around. Like he wouldn't, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was true. like, you know, if like someone walked in right. and then it was more he was just yelling at the black people. Yeah. You see, what, see what I'm saying? 100%. And then, you know, so I, I think he wasn't. Yeah, you know? okay, I got you. I think All it right. was just to show that Richie G was lonely. Richard right. J was lonely, yeah. bro. He was, dude. He just couldn't find love. Wearing the toupee and stuff. Yeah, it was weird. But he's a great character, no, though. Yeah. I mean, look, he he's best friends with the main character and yes. he has to learn. He learned sign language for her. Yeah. yeah that's what it feels yeah. like, right? Yeah. It's like he yeah. knew sign Unless language his and then boyfriend remember. was deaf and then got murdered. And we don't know. Dude, we don't know. It could, and it a could half. be, yeah. It could but be. But he has that moment where, and you see it a lot in film, where that type of character, the friend, the neighbor, turns yep. his back on the protagonist oh yeah of course but then comes back in in a huge way helps with the plan gets the fucking fish man out of there but i just always liked his character and i remember when i watched shape of water i'm going he's doing a great gay okay and that's why i'm putting him on there i love it i'll talk about the other ones for honorables that's my third guys giles shape of water if you haven't seen it I definitely recommend that movie. Okay. For one time. I wasn't the biggest fan. Don't watch it twice or three or four times. No, 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 no. But watch it once. All right. Now, my last one, I'm going to hit you with it, bro. Definitely my favorite. I only wrote down four, but Mm. this guy's great, dude. Mm -hmm. And again, childhood, kind of like childhood, like teenagers. And he's a great gay for one specific reason. Okay. Um, but he's even if he wasn't gay, he'd still be an interesting character. You would you would go, oh my god, this guy like stands out, bro. He just stands out, right? All right. I'm going with none other than detectives Paul Schmecker from the Boondock Saints. Bro, great. Didn't even think of him. I love no, at least I had not. to drop one on you oh that my you god, didn't think dude. of. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. And I feel like there's major ones I've missed. That's yeah. one of them. Yes. It has to be oh, great dude. pick. Bro, amazing gay, bro. Because even when he first walks on the scene, if you guys have not seen Boondock Saints, you suck. And this ain't the show for you. Go watch Boondock yeah. Saints right now. Yeah. And but even when he first walks on the scene and he fucking has that, you know, and and he puts the headphones the in, classical music. Right? Yeah. And then yeah. he's doing the whole, he's doing the whole fucking yeah. thing with the thing and the thing. He's, oh, oh lord! Someone's <laughs> getting on excited. Camera. It's on camera. Um, but yeah. Oh my god, dude, that's right. He comes on the scene and he just has that presence where but he's my, running. My shit. point is, you know, he's gay. Hundred percent. What I'm trying to say is, the yeah. even the first time you see him, you're like, yeah. oh, this guy's. Fruity, yeah, like yeah. not in a bad way, right. he's just fruity. But then you see that one quick scene when he gets the phone call and he's laying in bed with the dude, he drops the bomb, he drops the f bomb, he does. He says, What are you, a f- yeah. oh no, he just says fag though, yeah, he what goes, are you, a fag? Because he goes, Yeah, yeah he's like, I just wanted fag. to cuddle, yeah, fag, fag. Yeah. yeah, so it's not the whole but thing, so we're good, still, it's fine. Um, but yeah, Paul Schmecker, bro. Oh. I love the movie. Not even just because he's gay, but it, yeah. he fits. He's the gay character. 100%. So that's why I put him on my list because he I nails just, it. Regardless, even if it was top three detectives, that's a fucking oh, great top three, top three. Movie detectives? Movie detectives. Writing it down. Write it down, dude. How have we never done Mark that? It. We did I don't movie know. cops. Didn't no, we? we didn't. And I said, I have it on my list movie cops. But Mo- we got episodes. Dude. We'll do both. Yeah, we'll do, we'll both. do them all. So. Wow, dude, no, Paul Schmecker, man, definitely, definitely. My point is that he would be, he might be on my top three detectives because he he knows what he's doing. He he's dissects a, the scene. He, he has knows some what's sort going of on. sixth sense. It was Bruce Willis is gay in the sixth sense, right? Fight. No, Bruce Willis is gay in the sixth sense. Yeah, dude, he's bi, totally bi, totally You bi. believe that is real Don't. now? Yeah, yeah, I do. YouTube, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wink, um, wink. No, dude, that's a great pick. So uh, I'm mad it. I didn't think of him, but Thank I'm glad you. that you brought him up. Cool. I think I have one more that you didn't think of. My honorable. Could be. I wrote down a bunch for Amish. I know. That's why. Can I just drop my only one? 100%. I don't know if you thought of it. That's it. But it was going to be my third until I thought of Schmecker. DPS, Detective oh. Paul Schmecker, right? What you got? Am I wearing lipstick? 
I want to make sure I look good while you're fucking while you're me. Fucking me, oh, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Derek for real, dude. From Blow, hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, bro. but is he? He's a yeah. great gay. No, nope. oh my guy's a great bro, gay. Blow. I am Blow. Yeah, I should have yeah, Blow yeah. tattooed on my fucking forehead, you man. You shouldn't. Um. He's a great fucking gay. great gay. It's only because he fucks over George. Yeah, that's the problem. That's why I didn't put on my list. But he's still but a great he's, gay. Bro, he's an amazing gay. This wasn't best. Barbie. Yeah. Barbie. And Ken. Ken. Oh. Yeah. He's a your great hair. gay, dude. Oh, he's the best. He's a, played by Paul Rubin, is his name? Or no? Paul Rubin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Touching dicks. That's Marley Audible. Did, Dude, did you write it down or no? No. Okay, see? Good. Now one. I feel better. Derek, for real. Derek, fucking for real. Derek, fucking for real. You happy now? Love it. Okay. Bye. 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 Guys, if you have not heard, don't worry about it because you can't because it's <laughs> not on our oh, feet. Oh, it's not? It's not. No, Casino's oh, the first one. Oh, shit. Yeah. Casino. Scratch it. Scratch it. You know what we should redo? Anyway, acted George. out. All right, so okay, go. That was a great George. Uh, a couple other ones to mention, right? Why not? Go. You got Boy George from Wedding Singer, played by the, the, AIDS, the, the guy who died of AIDS, dead. Alexis Arquette's brother, listed as a female actress. Or, wait, is his name? No, his name is Alexis Arquette. Sorry, but you know he's listed as actress. On I know because he's officially yeah. trans. One hundred percent. He's get. He's dead. Oh, he claimed he banged Jared Leto. Remember, I, I told you that. Yeah. That's where he got AIDS for the movie. Maybe. <laughs> uh, and then, dude, I wrote down Andrew Beckett from Philadelphia. I mean, Tom yeah. Hanks does a great job. Yes. I've never watched the whole movie. Oh, it's I don't a, like AIDS, oh, bro. But, dude, it's a great courtroom movie. I know. Denzel, bro, coming in oh, hard. Oh, super hard. Bobby Prince from Scary Movie. Bro, Sean Waynes does a great job. Bro. I almost put that on my top three. Bro, I knew I was, but I knew I was forgetting one that is like, Closeted, not like closeted, yeah, yeah, but he's yeah, not yeah. a gay character. No, right. But he, but he's gay. But he's See gay. what I'm trying to say? Because he has the girlfriend and shit. But yo, that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> Fucking Marlon. No, Sean Wayne. Sean Wayne. Yeah, it does an amazing job. Bro, he's so good. He's and he funny. does it in the first two films, or is he in the second one? No, yeah, no, 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 no. I think it's he's only, in the second no, one. he's not. It's only the. It's only it's Marlon. Only Marlon. Wow. But Sean right. does a great job, dude. I love even the top three movie potheads. Have we done movie potheads or no? No, we did drug dealers. Drug dealers. Yeah, wrong so, with us? I know. Three hundred episodes, we haven't done it. All but right. dude, when he comes in, the first I'm writing time, that down. All right, go. Uh, when sh- when he comes in, Sean Wayne's as Bobby Prince, and they're in the fucking hallway at school, and he's at the locker, and he's like, "Yo, dog, this shirt made me look gay." And he's like, "Nah." And he turns around, he comes back, it's tied in it's the knot in the front. percent. This shirt made me look gay. And he goes, "Nah, nah." He's like, "Oh, right, cool, cool, cool," and he just wears it. But dude, everything he does, there's a play on gay. There's always a play on it, right? When always. he's banging the girlfriend. Yeah. Come on, do Come it, on, Brandon. Do it, Br- Come yeah. on, Brandon. He makes and her put the like, fucking put thing on. The yeah, fucking exactly, dude. Football outfit on. I used but... to do that with my old girlfriends, bro. 100%. I used to give my football uniform. You make him wear a jock. Anyway. A uh, jock? Yeah, it's another dude. Threesome. Boom. Oof. Sorry, guys. Boom. Guys, YouTube, uh, we're good. Yeah, it's fine. Nelson Biederman, let's go to prison. Bro, he's gay. He becomes he's gay. He's gay for the stay. But after he leaves prison. He's the black dude. And I they get have a business. Yeah. And yeah, dude, right. I wrote down this one because I said Ira? Who's Ira wrote down? I wrote the oh. Ira wrote down. My <laughs> name is Ira wrote down. Bro, this last one, rest in peace to the actor. But what a good just he's so he's such he's in such pain because of his okay. gayness in okay. this movie. Oh my god, what is it? I gotta go Philip Seymour Hoffman as Scotty and Boogie Nights. Dude, I thought you were gonna put that on your fucking top. I thought you loved him. I love him. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, it's Dude, cool. It's when cool. he's holding Can the kiss boom you? mic, yeah. I wish I could almost hold it. Yeah, but hold when he's it. holding the boom mic, the first time when Mark Wahlberg's banging Julianne Moore, yeah, his face because you know Mark Wahlberg is known to have a big dick of in the course. movie, right? John Hughes. So he right? pulls it out John and he's like, Hughes. <laughs> John Holmes. Sorry. Yeah, John Holmes. John Hughes. <laughs> John Hughes. John Hughes might have a big dick. He I could don't have. Know. He's dead. So. <laughs> So he's holding the boom mic and dude, the face he has when he takes the dick out, he's like, oh, oh. Do he's they, like, do they focus on his face or 100%. no? Oh, okay. So I didn't know. Dude, if, like, you he's holding it, it and okay. you're seeing, you're going, oh my god, Philip Seymour Hoffman's character Scotty is so turned he on. He loves by, yeah. that, but he's like, I can't. What am I gonna do? Like, yeah. I'm, I'm. No one knows I'm gay or whatever the case is. Like he's closeted, but then he finally comes out to Mark Wahlberg yeah, tries to kiss yes, him. Yes. Yes. But he's a great, yeah, great he on is. set boom mic holding for gay. sure. For sure. I had to put him down, all right. man. That's all what I have. What about the um, Tim Curry in Rocky Horror Picture Show? Right. First of all, trans I or no? Hate I don't know that movie. I hate I, it. I, I'm not I'll a never fan, respect but it. it. I just never will. You don't even respect it. Fuck it's the first movie. cult movie of all time. Great. I think it's dog shit. You're su- see, he's a homophobe. No, you're a fucking what? homophobe. What? After all dude. these fucking people, I love yeah. all these guys. Yeah, they're all closeted. Who would you want to hook up with? All these people, all these gay guys we just mentioned. All of them. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'll look at my list. I'll go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna I'm go going with, with Jack Heath. Twist, bro. I'm gonna go with Ennis. You take Jack. 
oh, you have to bang him. I yeah. have to get banged by <laughs> Heath Ledger. Get I'll get banged by Heath Ledger. It's fine, dude. The Joker, bro. Was, I'm not. Yeah, but shame about how yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Well, it's funny we both take the broke back. Guys. I know. What's well, wrong they're with the us? most real people, I guess you say, and the hottest. So no I don't know, man. That's our that's our top three. That's it for top three gays in movies. Hope you guys liked it. I did.